The jet climbs through a pitch black night. Without a moon to light the scene, it's hard for the passengers to see much of anything out their windows. In the cockpit, the simple turn over the Red Sea is taking a bizarre twist. See what the aircraft just did? Captain Kadir doesn't like the way his plane is behaving. Turning right, sir. What? Aircraft is turning right. Turning right? How turning right? The plane is supposed to be turning left on its way to Cairo. Instead, it's turning in the opposite direction. Okay. Well. The captain tries to get his plane back on course, but his situation just gets worse. Knowing he's in trouble, the captain tells the first officer to engage the autopilot. Autopilot! Autopilot! But it doesn't work. The 737 is now flying almost completely on its side. The plane gains speed as it spirals towards the Red Sea. Just minutes after takeoff, the plane is out of control. Diving toward the water, it's traveling at more than 430 miles an hour. Everyone on board can feel the tremendous speed and gut-wrenching turns. The enormous G-forces are making it difficult for Captain Khadir Abdullah to fly the plane. Ashraf Abdel Hamid, the third member of the flight crew, tells the captain to slow the plane down. Red tarp power! Red tarp power! Red tarp power! The plane is traveling so fast, it's ready to tear itself apart. After flying almost upside down, the crew is finally beginning to bring their plane under control. They hear the ground proximity warning. They're getting dangerously close to the Red Sea. It's just before five in the morning, minutes after the plane took off from the airport. It's disappeared from local radar screens. By the time the sun rises, the crash site is found. But there's little for rescuers to do. The plane shattered on impact. There are no survivors. All 148 people on board the plane are dead. <laughs> 